Welcome back to Brandon Walks Through Suikoden. So we just barely got by that gate. And let's talk to this guy. Chandler says, Howdy, I'm Chandler. I'm just an idle peddler. I travel here and there, search for a profit. I hope someday I'll have my own store. And that's about all. So uh, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Keep your location in mind. So um, we are out on the world map. And that is... The village that we want, you can um, walk around and um, fight a few battles if you want. There are um, beast commanders that will drop a pharaoh crystal. And we all got buckets on our heads. That's most unfortunate. Let's speed this battle up a little bit. So... Uh, we're on the world map, and you can uh, wander around and level up a, a little bit. Uh, the monsters are a little bit harder than uh, where we were. Um, there is a, a beast beast commander that will drop a pharaoh crystal, and those sell for like 2,500 bits, which is always nice. Um, but let's go ahead, for the sake of the guide, and go into Seika. There is a lot of people here, and I will save, and I'll be right back. One thing I did forget to mention, um, the death of Odessa actually unlocked our deadly fingertips in the Soul Eater, so, um, that will kill off somebody, uh, which is awesome. It just, just saying. Hey, how are you? Are you a friend of that spoiled brat Sheena? So noxious lately, and this guy looks in forward, standing in the corner. Antonio, my lives have been devoted to cooking, but I don't have my restaurant yet. I wish there was a place where I could really be of use. Cool. Keep that in mind as well. Who is this? Oh look, it's Marie! My my, if it isn't Brandon, how are you? Are you alright? Me? Uh, they found out I was hiding you, but I'm fine now. No, I don't blame you. Fate. That's all. So she says the same thing. Um, so we're seeing a lot of characters gather here. Um, we can go to the item shop and see what they got. You know, new towns you always want to explore. And there's another water crystal, which is always useful, but uh, if you, in case you didn't have enough money in Serity, you can buy one here now. But, and then of course the rune shop if you want to attach anything, but we don't have uh, many people. So let's go up in this before we talk to that guy up there. This is O'Neill, and she says, Say, did you know that Odessa, leader of the Liberation Army, is missing? Uh, missing? I don't know what you're talking about. We'll go up before talking to that important looking man. My hobby's fishing. Cool. Um. Alright, let's go talk to him. Hey, do you know where Matthew lives? Just up those stairs. But you're Matthew. So we go up these stairs and we can go to the stew and nothing's in of importance is here anywhere except for these kids. Guess what? But don't tell anybody. I decided to marry Matthew. Master Matthew? He's out for a walk. But I really like Master Matthew, but he gives out so much homework. So if we try to leave and go find him again. Talk to him again. You! Trying to fool us, you're Matthew! Yes, I'm Matthew. What can I do for you? We're here to honor Odessa's last request. She asked us to deliver this earring to you. Last request? I see. So she's dead. She was a fine young woman, but she got mixed up in all that. That what? I don't like your tone of voice. What's wrong with what Odessa was doing? She was a fool. I knew it would come to this. I can't accept this earring. Please leave. Way to go, Grimio. Just bust out that she's dead. I guess we had to tell him somehow. 
course we want to chase after him. I have nothing to do with Odessa. Please leave. Alright. So we try to leave. Who is this guy? He makes me sick. Me too, but why did Odessa ask us to see him? Hey! Get out of the way! Uh-oh. Imperial music. Those Imperial soldiers went towards Matthew's house. I wonder what's going on. Even though he did kick us out. Let's be nosy. What are you doing? What do you plan to do with that child? Matthew Silverberg. You are hereby ordered to return to the duty of the Imperial Army. There's no reason why a fine doctor like you should be wasting your talent in this pathetic village. Why you? You are a hero of the Battle of the Kaleka. I refuse. I've had it with war. Nowadays, I'm nothing but a poor recluse. We have been ordered by Lord Kazim Hazil to bring you with us by force if necessary. I have no intention of returning to the Imperial Service. Really? If you choose to be stubborn, there's no telling what would happen to this child. Say, maybe we'll send him to the Banar Mines. Pretty hard labor there. Who knows if the kid will survive? No, no, no. Help me, Doc. Help me. L let him go. Right now. So, looks like trouble. What we do, young master? So you can help them, of course, or wait to see what happens, and you get some cool dial their dialogue that makes you look cool, or we can just say help them, of course. So great, let's do it. Oh my, trouble again! It's not easy serving you, young master. Ain't that the truth? Come on, Cleo. I know you're about to enjoy yourself, young master. Let's go. Wait a minute. We're taking over this fight. Who are you? Survivals of the Rebel Army. Or just some guys passing by. I don't even care what you say, but, uh... Let's get our name out. Why not? Whoever they are, capture them! So no matter what you say, ultimately, you end up in this fight right here, so... Too easy. I bet he's yawning just like me. Bam! Level up Gremio and Cleo. Oh my god. All this killing in front of the children. I know who you are, Brandon. Son of General Tio McDowell. How do I know? I still keep in touch with a few friends in the Imperial Army. Those Imperial soldiers, they called you Matthew Silverbird. That's right. Odessa. Odessa Silverberg was my sister. Then why did you say such terrible things about her? I decided that I would never again be involved with the war and killing. But not Odessa. She chose to fight for her beliefs. How did Odessa describe me? Just as the man in Psyche named Matthew. I see. I guess she has never forgave me. Odessa told me, The powerful man who doesn't use his power is a coward. Yes, I am a coward. I would rather be called a coward than have to bear seeing that awful sight again. Even if I meant being rejected by my own sister. Awful sight. Watching people die in front of my from my actions. Friend and enemy alike. But today, I've realized something. Even if I close my eyes, the world will not disappear. From now on I will strive for what Odessa was striving for. You'll accept this earring then? Hearing? You should keep this. But why? Look at it closely. There's a map inscribed on it that shows the location of the Liberation Army's hideout. Whoever holds the earring 
is destined to lead the freedom fighters. I am a talented military surgeon, but hardly a type to lead the Liberation Army. But you, Brandon, however, are a born leader. I'm sure Odessa realized that. That's why she wanted me to meet you. Please accept this hearing and live out your destiny as leader of the Freedom Fighters. Hell yeah, we'll do it! Thank you, Brandon. From this moment on, you are the leader of the Liberation Army. Henceforth, I shall call you Master Brandon. Remio, Cleo, what will you do? You won't be able to return to the Empire. Wherever you go, I go, young master. Master Tio will forgive me, I'm sure. Me too. I just about had it with the corrupt empire. Master Brandon, as your military surgeon, may I offer you first piece of advice? To revive the Liberation Army, we must recruit volunteers, people who are dissatisfied with the empire. And to do so, we need the headquarters. You're right. Too bad a hideout in uh, Lenin can't burn down. I'm thinking of something much bigger. A place where you can withstand an attack of the Imperial Army. There's an abandoned castle in the middle of Lake Tor, and I believe that would be perfect for our purpose. Why don't we make for uh, Kaku, a town to the shores of the lake? Aren't you coming with us, Matthew? I must prepare for the move. I have to give all the children a year's worth of homework. <laughs> yeah, you jerk. Why not head for Kaku and cross to the castle of the Torn from there? So, this is a perfect opportunity to stop. I just became leader of the Liberation Army. This is awesome. So, um, next off, we're going to go and get a castle. So, tune in next time, and I will see you guys later.